Okay, I'm back. I'm James, and I'm going to talk real fast. I'm the fast talker in the world. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. All right. So, now, what they're doing here differs from the myth that I've used. Okay? Because I know better. Yeah, right. Now, I had, I had an idea that I got really from, from using Unix, Linux, and things like things, those weird things of that nature. There's actually something to learn from every new little thing you try in the world, and accountants know that. They, accountants also know they have to go out and gain an understanding of their client to be able to audit them, and they learn things, and learn things about the world, and they need to know a lot of things about the world. And so I just happen to be the kind of person that likes to do that and apply those things. And one, things that, one of the things I like to apply is to actually have my configuration separate from my um, uh, financial statement. Now, Casework comes with a default, um, you know, look to their financials that they issue. It's not too bad, okay? Um, but if you don't like to have it look this way, or if you want to have um, a different presentation, or you want to have, you want to emulate the kind of financial statements you're used to releasing, or you don't want to look like, like everybody else that uses Casewares, you're going to have to design your own. And it's not an easy thing. Let's get into some of the details here. Um, okay, so what's happening here? This number here is being pulled up because I have lead sheet A marked there. Now, if I were to change that to B, if I'm able to, am I? Not able to. How about if I put A down here? And maybe that'll demonstrate what happens. Section contains cells. I'm not deleting anything. What are you talking about? Okay, uh, okay, I'm just going to go in design view so I can actually show you something. Okay, so here we go. Here is part of what we get. We have map uh, parentheses quote ay comma one 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 star. Okay, and uh, that's it. And suddenly, magically, a number thirty four thousand one hundred appears in the box. Okay, well what happens is, is that 111 happens to be map number, the map number for cash for this client. And so it's just simply putting into this box the amount from map, the, the grand total of all accounts that are grouped to group number 111, but mapped as they call it in case work. Here they just have an A. And you notice that this isn't saying anything about A here. And in fact, if I were to change that A to a B, and this is map description, 111, 2, right? It's saying that comes from lead sheet A. But I could make that, I could easily make that condition false. Put an F in there. Actually, I'll have it contradict itself, and I'll put a B in there. And let's go back and take a look at it. So lead sheet B is cash. You know, okay. So errors can have can take place unless the design itself has synchronicity amongst the entire amounts of groups. Also, let's say if you wanted to do something like change the look of this you have when you're a, when you're in a CPA firm you don't just have one client that you work with and never touch the design and always stick with the design the case were shipped for you you may not want to have a blue loans and notes receivable for client X or you may want for all your clients to be a red loans and notes receivable and not a blue loans and notes receivable box Ooh, right <laughs> okay so to be able to do these kinds of things, or maybe the presentation is inappropriate. This presentation, by the way, is inappropriate for not-for-profit accounting for the most part, uh, because you have to show the um, both temp. The, the I, I know of some CPA that is not-for-profit is going to say this isn't true, but it really isn't as good of a presentation to to show a one-column not-for-profit financial statement. 
And the reason why you do that, whoever is telling me that I'm wrong, is because you're lazy. And I can tell you that. You can't fire me because I don't work for you. Now, the thing is, is you probably want to show the net assets release from restriction. You know, show that the number actually zeroes out, not just buried in some footnote that no one's going to see. You want to show how your temporarily restricted net assets change during the year, and that's how you do it. Okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm out of control now. I, I'm not that opinionated, and I really don't actually think that. I'm going to put this one back. Okay, so what I did basically to try to solve the problem I'm trying to describe but failing at miserably is the fact that you, you know, that you may want the look of your financial statements to change or be in a different format or have more columns or to get rid of different captions or indent a little bit more or in fact you know and over time that evolves and you may miss something in one client that you end up finding out the uh, oh god I missed that um, on, on a next client and if you're using a master template and a master map system first of all you, what you want to do is you want to have a map set up for your company that um, in, in two ways. You, there's two parts of it involved. First of all, you have to sit down. If you're going to use Casework, you have to sit down with your company and you have to decide, okay, these are this is our chart of accounts that we're going to apply to all of our clients. And we're going to be consistent about this. So when I bring so when your staff brings in their financial statement for blah 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 and they decide and, and you as a firm have decided that cash is always going to be called cash and cash equivalents, okay? Or if your firm has always decided it's going to be cash, keep it cash. That way you won't have an A for cash and an A1 for cash and cash equivalents and an A2 for cash and short-term investments and an A3, you know, okay. So also it's very useful for people to know that if it is a cash account, you always map it to A. Also, this template that uses the fact that the map is, is even here in the design, the map happens to be 111. I don't know why it seems odd. I don't like the way Casework did that. I'd, I'd rather stick with the ABC system for balance sheets. Anyway, that's just our own firm style. But um, obviously, if I group uh, to group 111 income on another client, I'm not just going to be able to copy this template and use it on the other client. And to see it apply magically, and you know, instead of cash appearing on that line, it will be rental income labeled as cash. You know, <laughs> so you want to have a consistent. You want basically all your clients should use the same map numbers, and that, and as a result, what that ends up doing is it requires that the firm agree on what the firm's chart of account is for everybody else. Get it? Got it? Good. That way you can take this map and you can transfer it from one place to the other. Otherwise, you have a situation where, you're, where if your firm can't decide that they're going to stick to a certain map number, then you're going to have a situation where, you know, that's too rigid, okay? <laughs> and then, and then um, a situation where someone's going to go back and try to clean up the slop and add all these different map numbers, and then you got this really huge database you have to deal with try to compensate for all the different clients that you deal with and the reason why you want to do that is let's just say you found a bug in your template you've copied over to 10 of your different clients okay and you're finding out that for some reason $250 someone screwed up on their math formula and they decide they're gonna put a minus 250 on accounts receivable and they're gonna put a plus 250 on equity somewhere and so every one of the financial statements you've released for the last year that have copied from the master template or from this last client uh, now is two hundred fifty always two hundred fifty dollars off in one area and two hundred fifty dollars off in the other area. But you're always in balance because debits equal credits, and you wonder how many you know. So now you got to go back and fix all these things. You need to go got to go into each one individually, or maybe you have to add the United States of America to your introduction, or your 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 um your uh, opinion letter, your accountant's compilation report or uh, a review report or an independent auditor's report or maybe there's some other requirement that you're going to have to apply to all your different clients and because you decided you're going to design you know first of all it's not 
probably is good to design from scratch each single one. You probably do want to copy from one to the other, but you want to make sure that you're, you know, so it gets in that situation. The reason, see, who's going to know offhand off the top of their head that map quote AY comma 113 star quote in parentheses is going to be what you need to do to get things to show up. And then down here for the addition, we have, you know, C group, you know, there's a case where it has its own language to work. And so what you want to have happen is you want um, the nerd of the firm, which is me in my case, to uh, do all the math, set things up, and you basically just want to, in general, uh, do what the nerd says, but what the nerd's supposed to do is basically bend over backwards to please the owner, to make sure the owner gets what he wants, try to implement it. But also, programming case work is a slow, slow process. Yes, you can copy rows and you can use relative com columns and things like that, but when the database gets older and mature and say the syntax and language change, and it has, uh, right now the syntax for something like this would be um, map quote B A colon Y, Z y R zero colon uh, then in quote comma one 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 dot star um, and you know and if you want to f and then if you have other divisions for your accounts and you only want to show uh, the the balance sheet and the income statement for account number dot o one you didn't consolidate you didn't uh, bring you didn't bring all those divisions into different companies instead you brought it into one company uh, but you have to show these balance sheets separately and you made that mistake. Uh, you're going to have to filter out your um, your accounts, and so I'm just, actually I'm going to show you what I found next.